Are you in the market to find a house? Great. Well, next step, find a realtor. This video is going to show you what to do to find a realtor. Hey everyone, my name is Jennifer Camp. I'm with Paragon Realty and that's out of Griffin, Georgia and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to find a realtor. I'm going to give you a few tips on how to do that today. Tip number one, pick someone who communicates the same way you communicate. What I mean by that is, if you're a caller and every time you want to talk to somebody, you pick up the phone and you call them, if your realtor never picks up the phone, will never call you back, then that's probably not the realtor for you. Now, if you're a texter and say these, you know, a lot of millennials are, they're texters. They don't want to talk on the phone. If you're a texter, the last thing you need to do is go out and get your mama's realtor who calls everybody on the phone and talks for 35 minutes each time. You're probably going to have a horrible experience because that's just not how you communicate. You don't feel comfortable and every time you see the phone ring, it's agony because you know you need to talk to them, but you know they're not going to text you back. Pick someone who is going to be available to communicate with you. If that person is on billboards and got all kinds of advertising everywhere and you're saying, yeah, I want them, that's going to be my realtor. Chances are, unless you're a million dollar customer, they're probably not going to work with you. So even though you call XYZ Realtor, they're probably going to shoot you off to one of their buying agents or shoot you off to one of your listing agents. And that's not really who you wanted to work with in the first place. So find somebody who you get along with, someone who knows the business. Um, that goes into tip number two. There's a lot of new realtors out here and I'm not going to be the one to bash new realtors because, hey oh, I used to be a new realtor. I was just as eager as a new realtor. No, I didn't know everything. Even the experienced ones, even the ones who's been doing it for 10 years, nobody knows everything and there's going to be a certain situation where something comes up and you're like, whoa. Never had this happen before, and you gotta call somebody. So if you have a new realtor that you're looking at, and it seems like they think they know everything, you might wanna pass up. So, like I said, I'm not pushing away new realtors because there's great realtors out there that just got their license, and they're good, and, I, and I'm not gonna shame them. But just make sure that you're not using Cousin Sally just because she's Cousin Sally and she already has a full-time job so you're not really her priority. That's not something that you want to do and lose thousands of dollars because you wanted to stick with family and it really didn't help you out any. Tip number three, look at their reviews. There's reviews everywhere. Now granted, when you go to Silo or you go to Facebook, not everybody leaves reviews, even though we always ask them to. They don't always leave a review. So just because they have like four or five reviews doesn't mean they only have four or five transactions. Um, but just look at those and see if you know any of them. See if you know any of the people on Facebook that they've already bought from and send them a quick message. Or even if you talk to your lender, a lot of these lenders work with many realtors. So they could probably give you some advice on number one, who needs the work? Number two, not only who needs the work, but who's good at it and needs the work. And no, you don't want somebody super new, but you do want somebody who has time for you. I'm in Georgia and my location is Lamar, Spalding, Pike, Butts, and Henry County. So if you're in those areas, I'd love to be the one to help you out. But if you're not, I suggest you take these tips and do your homework before picking a realtor. Have fun. Happy house hunting.